Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to my reaction to the two-part premiere of Star Wars Ahsoka. I have been looking forward to this show for a long while, ever since they announced it. I, I gotta tell you, when I first saw her on The Mandalorian, I was really excited at what they did with her uh, in terms of um, the live action. I think they really did a good job with it. Um, I <laughs> I really wish I had really something intelligible to say prior to this reaction outside of the fact I'm just very excited to see where they go with this show. Um, I'm not entirely too sure where it is in the timeline. I do kind of forget. I would imagine that it's probably going to be some uh, around the same time as um, The Mandalorian considering that in The Mandalorian she was looking for uh, Admiral Thrawn. And I would imagine that this is going to expand um, on that search. I just don't know if it's going to be prior to or after her meeting up with uh, Din Djarin. Um, we, we shall see. I am excited at the fact that they are bringing in some of the characters from Rebels. Now, I have not seen all of Rebels. I've seen a few episodes here and there. Um, so I really don't know much of the story of Rebels. I do know some of the characters. Um, thankfully, I have been able to really stay away from any spoilers of the show, though I have heard that the first couple episodes uh, is really based to kind of catch people up from Rebels, so I have a feeling that things that I'm not really that familiar with, I will be caught up with so that way I can follow the show easier, which I actually really appreciate. Um, I probably will watch Rebels on my own time since I have seen some of the episodes already. Uh, we'll see if I decide to do... Um, reactions on that in the future or not I probably will we'll see though but um, for the meantime I'm really looking forward to this and I really enjoyed Rosario Dar or Dawson's performance of Ahsoka I thought she did a really really good job and I love the idea that they really got Ahsoka you know as a I mean, even though we know that technically she's not a Jedi but she definitely follows the path of a Jedi it feels like but I think she has a really good balance, kind of like I would say in the line of Luke to where, yes, he, you know, more identifies with a Jedi, but not so much the, I guess you should say, I don't want to say uh, stoicity, you know, like stoic, unemotional. I think they both kind of realize that there is kind of a place like that. I would say Qui-Gon Jinn is probably the closest Jedi I could say to having a nice balance and making them a more complete Jedi. And I feel like Ahsoka really falls into that. So it's really nice to see her story get expanded upon. And I know that in um, Tales of the Jedi, I love the Ahsoka stories, you know, just seeing how she first got to with the Force, uh, seeing her get trained by Anakin, which ended up helping her survive Order 66, and then seeing her kind of try to hide away, kind of like pull what Obi-Wan Kenobi did in the Kenobi series. but you know realize that there is no way they can escape this fight so very very excited to see what they do with this show as i said before this is going to be uh the two-part premiere so um for the timer i will reset the timer when i start episode two and for those of you who are members who are watching the watch along uh just make sure that uh right below me i'll have the timer on there so you can follow along with the show um just get to that uh, time place, uh, have the show on one window, we have me on another window, and uh, we can all watch it together. Really looking forward to going on this journey with everybody, and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. I don't trust that ship. They're Jedi. Say again? The signal is an old Jedi clearance code. I'm calling their bluff. I don't trust this. I got a real bad feeling about this. Yeah, that pun was completely intended now that I realize what I did. Oh, that's not... Oh. Yeah, except they're not Jedi. Allow me to show you our identification. Oh. You... He told you you're making a mistake. Jedi. Mm. How many targets are there? Two. But they split up. Yeah, and you're gonna get destroyed. Mm. 
Very curious on what his story is. That's what I thought was her. She knows about Thrawn. Who is this Jedi? Ahsoka Tano. There it is. And waste no time, did they? <laughs> well, that certainly seemed familiar. <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty far underground. I doubt you're going to have very good reception. Or maybe signals. That's a better technical term for it rather than reception. Come no closer. The map. Give it to us. Okay, definitely not friend. I was just about to ask if that was friend or foe. I'm pretty sure they're not friends. I feel like those are droids. They don't look like outfits. I have a feeling Soka should be able to make easy work of these guys. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work, homie. Alright, that was cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, those are droids, alright. Oh, yeah, that now's a good time to run. I have a feeling that's going to be a really big explosion. Just keep flying and lower the ramp. Good lord. Uh, you better, I'm about to say, you better book it. Dude, that leveled that place. I'm stay close. Watch my back. That is the job of a Jedi Padawan learner, which I am not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that look she gave. I found it. The map. Right where Morgan said it would be. Oh! Oh, <laughs> there it is. General Sandula, it's good to see you. And you, though I wish it were under more pleasant circumstances. I'm sure. Who are they? I don't know. They seem to have abilities like you. Perhaps one of them was once a Jedi. Possibly. Or at the very least trained, may not have been a Jedi, but... Starman? The location of the last missing Imperial Grand Admiral. The map the Thrawn. If Thrawn survived, does that mean Ezra? That's what she wants to find out. I hope so. Dude, that would be so cool if we could get Ezra in this too. The device is locked. It's never a straight line with you, Jedi, is it? <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. You know who could help you with this. I do. I'm not sure she'll want to help. Bring up Ezra, and I'm sure. For Ezra. That's what I was thinking. May their courage and commitment never be forgotten. Yo, it's Clancy Brown! Here to say a few words is one of those rebel leaders, Sabine Wren. Where is she? I don't know. She was just here. Where did she go? I don't know where she went. <laughs> oh, is that her right there? That's gotta be, yeah. She clearly isn't one for ceremony, is she? Hey, he, he knows. Uh, a droid knows. 
<laughs> I'm the droid taking down the take cover. <laughs> I love how the droid's like, what? I would probably explain why maybe she would not be so willing to help Ahsoka. So they're practically right on Ahsoka's tail. An ancient temple built by my ancestors. You're a witch. A survivor. Either the Jedi has the map, or it was vaporized. I think you all know option A is the correct answer. Ahsoka Tano's former apprentice is on the Thal. You're looking for Sabine Wren. Oh boy. Let's hope Ahsoka gets there first. Hello, Hu Yang. Still in one piece? <laughs> oh yes. And still 75% original parts. I'll be on the ship. Well, a droid that can take a hint. <laughs> Kurgan, we kind of need you to take the hint too. You're gonna want to hear what she has to say. And yes, I don't care what his character name is, I'm probably gonna forever refer to him as Kurgan. Or Mr. Krabs. If you know, you know. I think I know how to find Ezra. Let's be on guard, you got somebody else coming for you. Oh, oh, she's on the ship. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, what? Where is she? I'm like, I didn't know they had uh, quarters for Ezra there, but it, uh, they're on the ship. Of course they would have quarters for him. You really think Ezra's still out there? Nothing is certain. No one would design a map you couldn't read. There must be a, a key or codex of some sort. Perhaps this will help. This is a scan Hu Yang took of the temple where we found it. So, where do you call home these days? This ship serves me fine. Don't you ever get tired of moving from one place to another? I go where I'm needed. I have a feeling that was the wrong thing to say. You never make things easy. You never made things easy for me, Master. Can I take this? Where are you going? Somewhere I can think more clearly. The map stays here. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I thought she was going to put up a little bit more of a fight. Not going to lie, very curious to see how this dynamic's going to work, though. In the last five. I've only known one student who built a saber such as this. Balan Skull. He disappeared at the end of the Clone Wars. Like so many Jedi. A master and an apprentice. That would be my assumption. If both trained in the Jedi arts, they will be formidable adversaries. For you alone. So here's the question. Are they, do they fall under the Sith category? Yeah, I don't think so. Sabine, you're going to want to hear. Yeah, you knew she was going to be gone. You knew better than that. I say that as if I thought she was going to stay. <laughs> I should have known better than that. I may not have seen Robles, but I could tell by their interaction that she was not going to stick around. Oh, wait. Oh, this this is not going to be good. Uh, there it is. You know, originally I was kind of thinking to myself, maybe Ahsoka should let her take the map to do her thing, but that was me forgetting that someone else is after her 
and was probably going to pull a mall and have some sort of scout looking out for her. Oh boy, this is not going to end well. I hope Ahsoka's on her way. She's still just as stubborn and bullish as ever. She's Mandalorian. You knew what you were getting into. I bet your master found you difficult at times. <laughs> Probably not an easy subject. Anakin never got to finish my training. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him and the Jedi. Just like I walked away from Sabine. I'm sure you had your reasons. Sometimes even the right reasons have the wrong consequences. Mm -hmm. That was heavy right there. Oh, that's what it is. She's got to get the match to be that symbol. Clever. Unfortunately, I have a feeling there is somebody outside. Ooh, okay. Oh boy, I don't, I don't like this one bit. This is it. Crap. We have a problem. Yeah. Uh oh. We've been looking for this. That's too bad. Oh boy, this is not gonna end well. Oh, I got a real bad feeling about this. I have no idea how she's gonna fare in this. See, I'm more or less curious what in the world because they're probably gonna get away with this map so now what? Oh lord. Well, she definitely got the power. I mean, Sabine is holding her own, though. I'll give her that. I'll give her that. Ooh. Man, they had some... I mean, we have established that gut shots don't necessarily mean death. Oh, no. You cannot end a part one on that. All right, y'all, that was part one, Master and Apprentice. And I gotta say, after seeing that for our friend Ray, that like, like everything I was doing, it just like, it just all switched. Cause like I said, with um, uh, the guy who was playing, I already forgot his name. I'm sure the more I list, uh, watch the series, I'll get better with the names. I'm horrible with names at the beginning anyways, but um, you know, knowing that he had passed, you know, so he, obviously not going to see this so that kind of hit a little heavy there but i'm not gonna lie i don't think i was expecting the first saber battle to involve sabine let alone that it basically end up with her dying out again based on what we've learned just by kenobi by itself apparently people can survive you know stab wounds to the gut <laughs> i mean uh what's the face third sister survived it twice Grand Inquisitor survived it, so... I mean, heck, even Kylo Ren survived it, so... Hopefully Ahsoka knows that Force power to heal, because that would be very disappointing to have Sabine killed off so early, but then again, 
these new Star Wars, they will surprise the heck out of you. So I'm not going to put it past the rail and possibility that that might be it for her. I hope not. But um, all I know is that episode one, I can see why some people might have complained about being a little slow. I'm actually, when it comes to especially new series that have like a set storyline, I'm actually okay with them starting off slow because I'm the type where I'm like, I like to, you know, let it marinate a little bit, you know, let the things build up to the climax, you know, things don't have to be so fast paced all the time. So I'm okay with a nice slow build and I think they had enough in there to kind of keep it going. And again, I think it's kind of nice for those of us that have not seen Rebels um, because it is kind of giving us some insight on what's going on, even though, like I said, I know some things here or there. I actually had forgotten the fact that Sabine was Mandalorian until she brought it up. Um, even though I saw the headgear, I didn't put two and two together until, you know, it was just brought up. So, you know, it's nice that I think for people that haven't seen Rebels, that those things are there to kind of help us not be so lost. And obviously seeing how much Ezra means to Sabine. So you knew that that was going to be the key to having her help. That she's not really interested in helping Ahsoka. But she more wants to find Ezra. But it's kind of fun seeing the dynamic with Ahsoka and Sabine. You know, former master, former apprentice. It's almost kind of like this. Um, in a way, I almost get the same feeling of Ahsoka with Anakin. Uh, when Ahsoka met up uh, with him when he was Darth Vader. And even though they obviously weren't Master and Prince anymore, they obviously knew who each other were. But, you know, it was just Ahsoka wanted, I'm sure wanted Anakin saved. I mean, even seeing part of his face when she sliced his mask in their battle. And you could tell how that really got to her and how she was not going to abandon him again. And I'm sure that there's probably so much that she's a feeling from walking away from Anakin, walking away from the Order. And then she was talking about how she walked away from Sabine too, which probably adds to, I'm gonna say the heaviness of her situation in terms of what she's feeling about going to Sabine, because I don't think that it was so much that Ahsoka wanted nothing to do with her. I think she just understood that Sabine would probably want nothing to do with her. Ahsoka. And you kind of really felt that tension, but at the same time, you can see how you know, that was kind of an emotional drain on Ahsoka. And even the attitude she had as if Sabine was still her apprentice in a way, talking about how she's like, I, you know, explicitly told her to stay on the ship as if she really is beholden to take any of your orders. I mean, I was saying she should have known better than to leave Sabine alone, thinking that she was going to stay. And then as I was saying, I'm like, I should have known better. You know, I don't know why I thought Sabine was going to say, like, I was talking about how I was surprised how she didn't put up that much of a fight. But then again, when I think about it, it's like, well, duh, she didn't put up that much of a fight. And then she just takes off. But uh, so, as I said, I can understand why some people, you know, felt that this was kind of a slow pace because it kind of was. But I think it's necessary. I think really with shows like first couple episodes, uh, I don't know how many they're doing for the season. You know, like, I think if they do at least 10, definitely the first two should be a little slower to get everything set up. And then, you know, like with episode three, that's when things can really start to pick up. And um, I feel like they kind of even did that with Kenobi a little bit. Like one felt really slow. And then two was kind of like that good mix where you had a nice amount of action, but it was still a lot to kind of build up. And, you know, I have a feeling they could be doing the same thing with this. And I just love the fact, I love seeing Clancy Brown in here. Like I said, I haven't paid attention at all to what his name is or anything because to me, he's always going to be either Ergen from Highlander or Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. Like I said, if you know, you know. So if you hear me say anything about Krabs or Kurgan, that's what I'm talking about. Really cool to see him in this. Um, I, want, I still want to know who that captain was on the ship. He looked really familiar too. I'm going to have to... Um, look him up um, after I get done with this but um, yeah so uh, episode one I was really pleased with it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started into episode two so let's go ahead and get it on all right well Sabine's still alive so at least we got that going for us Soka is not 
Or is that what's going through Sabine's mind? Ahsoka must be sensing that. Sabine. They took the map before I could decipher it. Did you keep a record of what you found? Yeah, but the droids destroyed it. The droids destroyed it. You need my help. No. You've done enough. <laughs> Trying to decipher if she meant that thankfully or in a way of trying to imply that she did a lot of damage which what was she supposed to do i mean she had to take on both those droids plus uh <clears throat> jedi sith whatever apprentice so does that mean they're gonna find thrawn before we find ezra No, really, what is that? Question is, did Ahsoka sense that or did uh, Cat tip her off? And if you get the power levels right, you can recover the droid's memory. And find out where it came from. Maybe I'll have some sort of uh, visual recording of the map. This droid came here from Corellia. The New Republic shipyard? Morgan Elspeth had factories on Corellia. Her Imperial operation should have been dismantled after the rebellion. It should have been. You did good. I haven't seen her in years, and the first thing I do goes sideways. You're both difficult. You need to help each other. You heard her. She doesn't want my help. Yes, she does. She's not wrong, Sabine. An ancient people from a distant galaxy. Would you like to see it? Okay. I'm going to need some explanations on this later. Either later in this episode or episode three. This is our galaxy. Whoa. That is our destination. While Grand Admiral Thrawn is banished. Thrawn calls to me. The Eye of Sion is on its way here. Make sure that everything is ready for its arrival. Uh, Mother will complete his task. See that he does. We're going in like 16 minutes in, and there already feels like there is a ton to unpack right now. Master? What do I feel like she's had some misgivings about this? What happens when we find Thrawn? For some, war. For others, a new beginning. And for us? Power. Such as you've never dreamed. Ahsoka Tano, this is Min Weaver, regional supervisor. I was just telling General Sundula that when the Empire fell, all Imperial assets were dissolved and redistributed, including those held by Morgan Elsbeth. Chopper! <laughs> you will still find ex-imperials at every level of the New Republic government. Don't you worry about their loyalty? Not at all. The average worker doesn't care about the nuances of galactic politics. They have loyalty so long as they're paid. If only you knew what was coming out of these yards. My loyalty is to my investors. I'll leave the politics up. Already off to a not so promising start, but at least we got to see Chopper. Looks like connecting with Sabine paid off. I was wondering if you would consider bringing her back on as your apprentice. 
She's not ready. What makes someone ready? That's a good question. You just know. Do you? So do they. I heard your repairs were complete. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. That is an excuse. And a poor one. Hey. She quit on me. The past is the past. Move forward. This droid. I like this droid. I like this droid. I never had the talent. The abilities. Not like Ezra. That much is true. Gee. Thanks. <laughs> I have known many Padawans over the centuries, and I can safely say your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. <laughs> well then. Where is he getting that? I won't waste any more of her time. The only time you are wasting is your own. One hundred percent real one right there. Welcome to the control center. From here we keep track of the entire inventory being created from the dismantled Imperial fleet. What are the types of droids do you have in operation here? Standard protocol types, as well as CCLs, IW-37s, HV-7s, and other load lifters. No HK class? Assassin droids. <laughs> I should think not. Not even repurposed, you know, to stay on schedule? He knows something. I have seen such a droid. I catalog inventory on arriving transports. An Apparently, so do they. Prevented me from completing this task. When was this? Five rotations ago. Five rotations. What do they mean by rotations? Days? Where is this droid now? I believe it is departing on that transport. Stop that ship. I can't do that, General. They've been cleared for departure. I said stop that ship. That's an order. Uh, you might want to watch your back. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh, come on, Ahsoka. You could have made that. Oh. Okay, what? What's going on here? All right, so I'm sure she'll be able to handle the droid, but what what or who is that? Don't worry, I think Ahsoka can handle herself, though I'm very curious on what we're dealing with here. Okay, that was actually kind of clever. I like that. That was pretty nice. That was nice. Oh, that's what I thought. I must say, I looked very close to an Inquisitor type saber. Just ready a tracking device. And don't miss this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Come on. Nothing else. I'm just more curious on who that is. Did you look under the backup battery? I love how they did the sound effects as if you can actually understand what he's trying to say. Woo! Oh, there she is. Nice dodge. So that is an Inquisitor Saber. So, wait, so is that an Inquisitor? Maybe a former Inquisitor? Now, Chuck. Good work, Chuck. What is going on, though? What we got going on here? Or just a really quick haircut. How can they still be loyal to the Empire? I mean, if you made money off the Empire, I mean, like he said, his loyalties are to his investors. A 
I'm ready. All right. She knows. I th I'm pretty sure she knows. I really like what they did here, though. The fact that they're using like the actual, like animation type from the show for like the murals. haircut <laughs> it's more me all right now we in business take us out paddle on <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yeah buddy that's what's up I'm not going to lie, I would have been perfectly content if the episode ended right there, but I'm not going to lie, I'm actually kind of glad they're doing a little more on this because there's still some answers I want. I mean, after the way last episode ended, I would have liked to end this episode on a good note, actually. Our presence in the Force is elusive, yet her determination is vivid. She is coming. Nothing can prevent our journey. To kill her would be a shame. There are so few Jedi left. Sentimental. Truth. Okay, what is going on with him? He doesn't give the vibe of full-on Sith, but... All right, y'all, that was Ahsoka Episode 2, Toil and Trouble. And I'm just going to say this awesome premiere. I thought they did a really great job with the pacing of everything. Again, if you hadn't watched Rebels, you aren't completely lost. They fill you in with just enough to be able to keep up. And like I said, I would have probably liked for them to end, like maybe if they switched this scene that we just had, and flipped it with the scene between Ahsoka and Sabine. I personally probably would have liked that a little better to kind of, uh, you know, make it the yin versus the yang because, I mean, episode one ended on such a, I'm not gonna say a bad note, but obviously a more uh, troublesome note, you know, with Sabine being injured and, you know, them getting the map and everything. And then to end episode two with, the opposite where you get like a nice little feel good moment. I would have liked that, but I'm not disappointed with this. I'm still, I want to know who that third character was. That was with uh, Balin and um, I don't, I don't even know what to classify them as. Obviously not Jedi, but definitely don't, you don't get Sith vibes. And what is with his whole sentiment of the whole idea of there being so few Jedi left? I mean, it doesn't sound like he's necessarily a friend of the Jedi, but I don't know. And and the other one, I get the little Inquisitor vibe, but he's obviously part of that. I mean, obviously we know it can't be Sith because, you know, I feel like that would ruin the rule of two. But then again, I mean, you had Palpatine, Vader, and Tarkin. So, but the other guy had a saber, so he they had to, well, guy or girl, whoever it is. So they had to have been training the Jedi arts too. So what is the story behind that? That's what I want to know. But all I know is that so far it seems to go um, in terms of pacing everything the way I'm kind of like expecting. Because now that, you know, I have a feeling that starting with episode three, things are going to really start to pick up heavy. But I have to say, I've really enjoyed episodes one and two. I love seeing Chopper back, man. I forgot how much of a sass he was, man. Chopper is so awesome. And then, oh, I don't, I already keep forgetting the name of that other droid, but the way he was just pouring truth on Sabine when she was in the hospital, man, I, I need to see interaction between him and Chopper. There was probably plenty in Rebels. I'm, I think this, watching this is going to make me want to go back and actually watch Rebels and see what I missed. 
and it might even help me uh, understand a lot of the banter interaction with some of these people but oh my goodness I mean already I'm just like man I feel like I really need to go back and watch Rebels outside of the few episodes I've seen already but uh, man so very solid first two episodes I say very solid I really enjoyed them and oh man I'm not gonna lie I'm actually kind of glad that they moved to doing these on Tuesdays because I mean granted yeah I still gotta wait you know a week in between but I don't know it just for some reason it just feels like even though it's the same wait time like having it on Tuesdays rather than Wednesday it almost feels like it's actually earlier maybe it's just because you know with the weekend you know obviously I have you know other things going on whether it's recording other videos doing live streams on my gaming channel whatever it is or even just family time you know I think it's just when I do that and then I start the week you know on Monday and then Tuesday boom Ahsoka so um, so I know that this video right here is gonna be on Monday um, but from here on out for the rest of the series um, my Ahsoka reactions are gonna be on Thursday so I will watch obviously watch on uh, Tuesday and uh, you know do all my editing and everything um, one thing I forgot to mention before I'm probably gonna upload uh, <clears throat> the member only videos first so uh, the member only videos will be the full watch alongs with this which if you are a member um, again just make sure you have the actual show on another window or tab however you're doing it or even if you're just watching on the phone me on the computer or vice versa um, you know just have that and then you can use the um, the timer to know where I'm at in the show so you can uh, keep up with me on that um, but I'm also gonna have the ad free versions for members too so I will um, always upload those first um, and when I say first it doesn't necessarily mean 24 hours before um, it could very well just mean a couple hours before but those will get uploaded first and then the public reaction which is what most of you are probably watching now uh, will get uploaded there just to try to prevent any confusion from those of you that are not members but um, either which way love the episodes really looking forward to episode three i cannot wait to see what they got in store looking forward to sabine getting some more training and definitely looking forward to getting some answers and this whole eye of zion thing i'm not gonna lie it has me a little worried but it should be a good one so thank you all for stopping by and i will catch you all for episode three